Hi friends, Namaskar. Welcome to the channel Transformation Unlimited. I am Jay Prakash Nakhtiyalli and uh, with me our guest for today is K.S. Narendra Kumar, a financial consultant. Uh, he is, yes, guided lot of people so far. Okay, today we are talking about rented house versus mortgage, uh, mortgage loan. Um, namaskar. Namaskar, sir. <laughs> uh, sir, I think many people are there in the rented house. And these days, many people are opting for the uh, mortgage loan that is EMI house. Huh? Um, uh, what is the difference? So, basically, if you look at a mortgage house as well as an individual house where they stay on rent, mm. uh, rented house gains over the advantage. But uh, psychologically, what uh, people are trying to understand is mm. when they have their own house, it's like my place, my own place, right? Mm. At the same time, they are also forgetting that when they are staying in their own house, mm. they are also paying a bulk EMI, which is <laughs> much higher than what yeah, yeah, is. So, that's our main intention for today. Okay, because many people are suffering to pay EMI on time, especially during the COVID times, uh, these uh, bank people will also harass many people. Absolutely. Uh, so that's why this video. Um, what exactly a home today for a family means? So, uh, very nice questions are in fact because uh, many people do not understand it's a place to stay is they consider it as a home. But most importantly the family coming together and staying in a place. Today a family needs lot of facilities. Some people say okay my kids are into sports they need a, a place where they have the facilities like apartments where they have swimming pool, badminton courts and all. Where the individuals uh, if the senior citizens are living at home they say that we need to live in a place where people are more religious right. So, <laughs> it has become a little complicated things where yes. people live in a uh, joint family together happily is called as a home today more than a house what we call it as a home is something where everyone living happily okay why do people like to own a house okay so basically uh, it's a, it's a more of a social pressure i can call it as mm. because uh, they say that okay my parents are saying you have to own a house my in-laws are saying you have to own a house my friends are saying they already own a house and they also need that if you have a house that means that is your own place so this is a reason where people feel very satisfied res situation where if they own a house okay. nobody cares really what exactly the emis which they are paying mm -hmm. they only focus on okay i own a house that's all today <laughs> Uh, this is uh, sort of a psychological bonding. Absolutely, sir. Okay. What are the advantages of owning a house? Uh, advantages are many, sir. Uh, mm. As you said, uh, first it gives you a social security kind of a feeling because psychologically, as you rightly said, people feel very comfortable saying that, okay, this is my own house. That's our first And uh, they will have a pride. Absolutely. Absolutely. Rightly said, sir. So, <laughs> they can always live that I, I live in my own house, right? So, that's mm. uh, one of the major advantage. Second could be uh, any kind of uncertainty which could be coming up. Probably uh, inflation might lead into a lot of uh, changes in prices or it also mm. leads to some of the people consider it as an investment too. Mm. Owning a house is not an investment today, but people consider it as an investment. I have purchased it today. My father purchased a house which was uh, 20,000 20 years ago. Mm. Today, same house is costing 60 lakh rupees. It gives like a sense of accomplishment. That's what I can say. Okay, That's okay. So, what are the advantages of uh, staying in a rented house? Today, uh, world has uh, drastically changed. Today, most of the people would like to stay in a rented house because of lot of flexibilities. Mm. So, today in a city of Bangalore, if we speak, person living in a home house in Bangalore and probably in South Bangalore might mm. have an office in East Bangalore or North Bangalore mm. where Manyata or IT tech parks have been located. Mm. So, people find it very difficult if they own a house, they can mm. relocating to a rented house is something which they feel very pressurized. So, I personally feel any point of time if they have a, if they are living in a rented house, they can always have that flexibility to change the place, <laughs> not only within the city, but also if they get relocated. Because and they can enjoy different types of homes, absolutely. different facilities. Facilities. Absolutely. Uh, very true. Very yeah, true. Many people are enjoying that. Absolutely. Uh, because uh, uh, they will have different setups, no? Correct. Because uh, we can't change our parents or Absolutely. the our life partners. Correct. But we can always change it. Absolutely. Homes. Absolutely, <laughs> sir. Very rightly said, sir. Absolutely. <laughs> uh, which is the better option according to uh, financial sense to stay in rented house or a home? 
own a home. Okay. I personally feel today in a financial sense, it really makes to live in a rented house rather than mm. buying a home house. Because uh, the reason is, if we look at a financial sense of calculation, mm. a property which is costing 1 crore today, uh, same EMI might be around 80,000 to 90,000 rupees. Okay. So, because he has taken a loan of 80 lakh rupees for making a 20 lakh as down payment. Mm, 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 Whereas, mm. if the person, same person is taking a rental house, the same property at 1 crore, he might be paying hardly 25 to 30,000 rupees as a rental. Mm. So, which makes more sense, I feel personally. And it is hardly, even if you have to say value of a property today is 1 crore, the rental yield might be hardly 3%, which is less than a bank account today. So, SB account gives you three and a half percent and Correct. your rental income gives you three percent and in fact while paying emi we tend to forget that uh, we are almost paying equal amount of what the uh, worth of the particular uh, house Absolutely, sir. Huh? Uh, right Almost uh, near double. Absolutely. It's exactly the 2x is what we pay. Mm. In current situations of India where 8, 8.5% is our mortgage loans, mm. you pay, you take a loan of 20 years, you will end up paying 2, 2.2 times of the actual loan which you have taken. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, this sense. we have to be uh, very cautious actually. Uh, absolutely. Uh, I think it is better if we earn money and purchase a home, that is good, sir. But again, uh, how long you will take uh, money to save, right? So, saving money is a good habit. But huh. till then, where do you stay? It's a rented place. So, <laughs> rented place gains over financial sense about yes. uh, investments. Uh, you are correct. Uh, people say that there are a lot of tax benefits of owning a home. home. Uh, is it really true? Uh, very good question, sir. In fact, it's uh, most of the people today feel that uh, mm. owning a house today, I'll have an income tax gain. Mm. Definitely, no doubt, they save a lot of taxes. Mm. So, if they say, if they pay an interest of two and a half lakh rupees or two lakh rupees, mm. they pay, uh, they uh, take advantage of deducting from the taxable income. Okay. So, what they are missing is actually the money which is they pay two lakh rupees mm. is the interest component. On interest component, you are saving 30 percent, which is mm. 60,000. Mm. On 2 lakh rupees is a net outflow, which is an interest component, on which you are paying, you are saving 60,000 as a taxes. So, by paying excess money, you are making richer, richer by banks, not actually you. So, that's the <laughs> reason I face. Uh, it's a psychological pressure as well as uh, people feel that they do not really understand the logic of uh, taxation. If they really understand it, nobody will buy a house today. So, if I have to say buying house or giving a mortgage loan, hmm. it's all uh, designed by banks to generate cash flow for the banks. So, banks are becoming richer, making people poor. I by think buying that's house. why apart from the nationalized banks, lot of private banks are entering. Absolutely. absolutely. Ah, and they are flourishing also, most absolutely. of the banks. Correct. What do you say? Absolutely, rightly said, sir. Today, lot of NBFCs are registering. Mm. Those are which are unaffordable also are being uh, given a loan. For example, if you look at front-end banks like PSUs are offering for a HNI category or probably high income group. Mm. Then the second category, even private banks are offering. Then there is a different segment altogether which are NBFCs are coming and they are lending at 14, 14 and a half percent as a housing loan, which are with a very low ticket size of 8 to 10 lakh rupees as a loan. So, there are humongous market, they have seen the opportunity, that's why they come and do the business. Um, I think Narendra Kumar, people like you should guide uh, our uh, subscribers especially at Absolutely. our YouTube channel Absolutely. and uh, definitely I am going to invite you for uh, different topics on financial awareness. Uh, so, thank you very much for this enlightenment so for today. Thank you. Thank Namaskar. you so much.